Hello and welcome everybody, it's Karen. I'm glad you're here because it's Gnome Time 2 at Craft Consortium. This is the new Christmas collection by Hell's Couple Ditch, and if you've followed any of Craft Consortium's releases, you'll know that Hell's Couple Ditch always has the cutest, most adorable releases. So this is Gnome Time 2, and here's the 12 by 12 paper pack. Um, you can see all these little toppers are perfect for putting on cards. There are four pages each of, of each design. Uh, and there is the 6x6 six six paper pack, which I'll show you in a little bit here. So these landscape ones are, I use these all the time actually, and I, you'll see me use those today. Now here's a little comparison of, how, of the scale and size of the 6x6 six six paper pack. So you can see it's just a bit smaller, but if the paper is pearlized in the 12x12, 12 12, it is in the 6x6, six six, or if it's embossed and glazed, it's the same in the 6x6 six six pack. So here's a look at some of the pages now. They are very whimsical, very happy pages, I would say. Very colorful. Um, and lots of different ways that you could use these, it seems to me. Now, the snowflake page is all glazed, and you can see that shine there. It's really very pretty in real life. Um, and these trees are just so, I don't know, they're just peaceful looking to me. <laughs> Maybe it's those colors, but here's a look at how they are in the 6x6 six six book. So again, that's all pearlized paper and glazed where the snowflakes were on the other ones in the 12x12. 12 12. And here's a look at these trees. So it's just the scale that's different on these. These uh, stockings are such a fun page. I can't wait to make a card with that. And this paper reminds me of wrapping paper. So I felt like you could cut little presents out and stick those right under the tree with that and maybe a little ribbon and they'd be perfect. This is a page full of different borders and that gingham is really pretty. And all the colors coordinate together. Now on the back cover, there are more images that you could cut out and use. I've never dared do that. <laughs> I haven't done it yet, so I don't know that, that I will with this one either. Um, now this is the 3D decoupage set, and this year it's it comes with foam tape, and they're just tiny little squares of foam tape, which is perfect for the decoupage. So there are two set or two sheets of five different designs on with that. This is the chipboard ephemera. Now all of this comes with an adhesive backing on it. So these are really, really easy to just stick into your project and and away you go. And it's all the same sweet images that you've seen all throughout the collection. There are more embellishments as well. There are the snowflakes and this Christmas light strand which would be really quite fun. And this is the new 6 by 8 inch stamp set. And I love that Craft Consortium has a color overlay on theirs. So those are beautiful images that totally match this collection. So I've made a few cards for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you how I've made this first card, actually. And I'm going to have more videos coming out in the next few days, hopefully, um, which will show how I've made the other cards. I just thought that it was a bit too much for one video, so I've split it up and one card per video. <laughs> so this is a double tent fold card. The inside has some acetate and so does the front. There's room to write on the back. Uh, it does fold down flat relatively uh, and it will stand up. So that's just kind of fun. Now this is a snow globe. Um, and it folds down flat. You can write your message on the back. Uh, but it's really an interesting design with that acetate. So I will have a video showing you how to make that one soon. And this one is really quite fun. Uh, this is the wave card. Uh, Sam Calcott of Mixed Up Craft uh, had made this and I just loved it. Do you remember the wave at the football and hockey games and the concerts? 
this card is just like that. When you open it up, it's like somebody's giving you a wave. And I just thought that was really fun. So I'll have a video out on this one on how I made that one as well. But let's make this card. Um, it's quite easy. I've stamped up all those images from, from the stamp set and colored them in. And I've taken this one extra reindeer from Snow Time the One uh, series. And this was which set that came from. So to make the card, I've got a 7 inch by 11 inch piece of cardstock. And I used 110 pound weight cardstock. You want to draw a pencil line right down the middle of the three and a half inch mark. And then on your scoreboard with the 11 inch side facing up the top, you're going to score down on one side at the five and a half inch mark only to the pencil line at the three and a half inch mark. So score down at five and a half inches. Then you're going to rotate your cardstock around score at one and a half just to the pencil line again and then at two and a half inches five inches eight inches and nine and a half inches and all those score lines only go to the middle so it should look a bit like this when you're done and then what you want to do is with your craft knife, you're going to cut from that first score line all the way down to the last one, right along that pencil line. So I'm just cutting that. I went through it twice with my craft knife. My knife's a bit dull. But you should be left with something that looks a bit like that. And so then you can erase that pencil mark. Now to fold this, I like to start with the one, the one creased, or one scored side on the right and I fold that into a mountain fold and then on the left all those folds will be accordion folding so you start with the mountain fold you can't fold these all the way down just yet but they, they will go eventually but you need to sort of get them started so it's mountain valley mountain valley and a mountain at the end so once you get those going, you, you can see this will just fold all the way down and then you can really burnish those with your bone folder. And you really do want to, to crease these, to really score them and burnish them, I guess, with that bone folder on both sides. And that will give you this shaped card. So mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain, and it's mountain on the other side. So that gives you that weird little shape. <laughs> and so then you can choose to have that tall side on either side, but I found if I was writing, I'm right-handed. So for me, it was easier to have the tall side on the right. And so that was why I oriented mine the way I did. So here I've cut a little panel. It was three and a half inches wide by five and a half inches long. And then I cut a little white um, insert to go on top of that. And that was just to have somewhere to write a message. Now on the outside, I've cut this landscape um, section off and, and I've trimmed it down to three and a half inches wide and I've glued it on and I'm just gluing on my little house, my little, I don't know, is that a cabin? <laughs> house I guess. Now I've cut some snowflake borders. Now here I'm just trying to figure out how to orient this and so I, I ended up just gluing it right on and then trimmed off the excess. And now for this one I know that this has to be five and a half inches tall so I'm just going to glue put a little glue on the top of my snowbank and attach it so that my whole piece is five and a half inches tall. And then I will just trim off those excess sides. And so then it fits right in and lines up with the other one. Uh, I was just making sure of that. And then I put some glue on the inside and glued it in. Now on my original card, I had covered the back of that piece with white cardstock and I completely forgot when I was making this video. So you'll see, I, I glue this in and I squish it down and then I realized, oops. <laughs> so I fixed it by uh, cutting another piece of white cardstock and I glued that onto the back of this just so it would have 
a better back. But really, I should have put this on first and then glued the whole section in. But it worked, so live and learn. So here I'm just gluing that right down and pressing it on and then I just trimmed off the excess. So nobody but you guys will ever know. <laughs> okay, so here I am gluing my little gnome and Rudolph down. I've only glued the bottom part um, just where they're going to be on the snowbank. Now I've cut another snowbank for this middle layer and I'm gluing that in place. I wasn't entirely sure how tall to make that, so I kind of fiddled with it a bit, but I edited that out for you. And here I am just attaching this reindeer. So everybody's on there, and I love that step effect of it um, on the side. It's a card, but it has an attached stepper. It's quite interesting. Now, this was where I got my uh, sentiment from. It's a poppy stamp set. I'll have everything listed down below, guys. But I've stamped and heat embossed it with silver embossing powder. And here's the fun stuff. This is fluffy stuff from Cosmic Shimmer. It's got a fine tip nozzle and you just uh, spread this on uh, wherever you want snow to be. And then you heat set it. Now I do find it's best if you let this cure for a day or so. But here I'm heat setting it and you can see how it just puffs up and looks more like snow. You can burn it, so be careful you don't overheat it. So once it puffs up, you're done. But look at the dimension it gives it. Really quite fun. But just be careful with it for the first, I don't know, 24 hours or so. I, I do find it will get knocked off. Now here's the comparison. The card on the right, I did not round the corners, but I had on the left, and I wasn't sure which I preferred. So if you guys have a preference, just let me know in the comments down below. I'd be curious to know. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you'll come back tomorrow for the next video, and I hope I've given you just a little inspiration. <laughs>